Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It's time to take a closer look at the British line. We finally made it to the British line. We're here on WTReplays.com. Replay site, we looked at USSR, Germany, US, and France. The UK is the next nation that has a big tech tree. Let's sort on UK. And this is going to end this series. We're not going to sort by uh, tier. You know how it's done here. Let's just look at all the UK games that have been loaded on this site and uh, sort them by damage assist, damage blocked, and damage done and see if we see any patterns. Now obviously if I press damage assist it's going to be all tier 10 uh, British light tanks. Manticore uh, is going to be all the top 10 results, right? Wrong. It's the Chieftain that has the top damage assist game. Because why not? Why wouldn't it? <laughs> Probably top tier poking the ridge line. And uh, being impenetrable. <sighs> How many Manticores in the top 10? Let's count them down here. Uh, if you got yourself a Chieftain, you know, uh, have a cookie. All right. Manticore. 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 Ah, the Tier 9 light tank. Interesting. The Tier 9 light tank. Manticore. 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 Seven out of the top 10 are Manticores, which is okay, I guess. Uh... You know, the Russian tech tree is pretty simple. All tier 10 lights had the, the tier 10 light had all the top 10 results. And when I sorted by tier 9, it was, uh, tier 9 had all the ten, top 10 results. And that's the way it's going to look on the British tech tree, right? Yeah, a tier 9, tier 9, tier 9, tier 9. The, G, the, yeah, the tier 9 light tank gets all the top 10 results. And tier 8 is going to be the setter because it's the premium tank. You should buy a setter, right? Oh, no, no. Don't buy a setter. Just grind. <laughs> Not even one game in the tier 8 premium uh, uh, British light tank. That tells you how crap the setter is. Don't buy a setter. Just grind the regular tier 8 light tank. It's dominant for tier 8. Uh, does that make sense? We learned something. Don't buy a setter. Now, damage blocked by armor, it's going to be all the assault TDs, right? The Badger, yes. Is the is the, the tier 10 assault heavily armored TD top damage block game. 11,000, but look at this. Carnarvon? Tortoise? Excelsior? Does that even make sense? Oh my god, Muppets with machine guns shooting the front of an Excelsior? Hmm. Uh, Badger? Super Conk? AT8? Tortoise? FV? A hull down FV? Gone Valley? Blocked 8,007, 8.7k damage? Carnarvon being up there is very interesting. Uh, an assortment of tanks, not what I would expect. Which just uh, tells you, I think, that at the high tiers, tier 10, well, basically what it tells you is that the uh, Badger is not, uh, you know, fuck the Badger. I remember when the Badger came out? All the content uh, that came out of how it's going to break the game because it has amazing armor and a fantastic gun. And it's just so, uh, that, well, it does not... It's the uh, pinnacle of the heavily armored assault TD line for the British. And uh, when you start playing tier 10 games, the armor just does not hold up. You're easily flanked. You're easily roped. You're easily caged. Uh, the Badger, it just doesn't dominate the top results. So you ask yourself the question, why do you want to grind the line that uh, you give up all your mobility to have really good armor. And then you don't even dominate the top results on uh, damage block by armor. It's up to you guys whether you grind the Badger, but I'd say take a pass. If you're going to go down the British uh, Assault TD line, let's look at Tier 9 and the results will speak for themselves. Damage blocked by armor for Tier 9. Tortoise. Okay. Tortoise. 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 You say tortoise. I say tortoise. All of the top damage blocked results for Tier 9 dominated by the Tortoise. I would say tier for tier, the Tortoise is way better than the Badger. At least uh, damage blocked by armor. We will see uh, by damage caused soon. But my advice to you, stop at Tier 9 when you're grinding this line. Enjoy yourself at Tier 9 because it doesn't get any better at Tier 10. The Tortoise is the king of the British Assault Heavily Armored TD line. All right, let's continue here, and we are going to now sort uh, to Tier 8. If you've only made it to Tier 8, let's see what these results show. The Tier 8 Assault TD? No, Carnarvon. FV. Carnarvon Action X, Carnarvon Action X, Carnarvon Action X, Carnarvon Action X. Carnarvon. Turtle? Only one turtle. 
another FV, medium tank. The Carnarvons dominating blocked damage by armor. That is very interesting. You'd think it would be one of those, uh, you know, the, the turretless, heavily armored TDs. No, it's the Carnarvon or Carnarvon Action X. Here it is. This is the Carnarvon. And this is the Carnarvon Action X, the premium version of it. And I got to say, it's it's all about the turret. It's the turret. The turret. It's all about the turret. Played correctly, hauled down. These two tanks are beasts. And uh, overlooked by a large portion of the player base. And for some of you who have not grinded the British lines yet, you may say to yourself, hmm, that is very interesting. So what I would say is if we see the Carnarvon in the top damage games at Tier 8, uh, let, let's see when we get there. But let's sort by damage now and see who has the top damage. It's going to be Chieftains, right? Chieftains all the way, all 10. It's going to be Chieftains, right? Let's see, top damage. Super Conqueror is still the king. Look at this with over 10. No, that's the wrong. To almost 13,000 damage game. A super car. That's beautiful that it wasn't one of these. A chieftain. Reward tank. A shit barn. Huh. A death star. A chieftain. A chieftain. A chieftain. A shit barn. And a chieftain. Okay, the results were dominated by Chieftains, but the Chieftain did not dominate these results like the Object 279E dominated the Russian Tier 10 results. The Super Conqueror is still amazing. Look at that game. And the Shit Barn and the Death Star with such huge guns. Of course, when RNG says yes, they're going to rank up there. Now let's look at Tier 9. Tier 9, the King of Tier 9, Tortoise. Look at that. Uh, oh, and a couple of Conquerors up there. Mostly Tortoise, Conquer. Oh, uh, Centurion. Tortoise, tortoise. Lots of tortoises. A centurion. That's interesting. Played probably really well. Hull down somewhere. C centurion 7 1. And tortoise. Tor tortoise is the king of tier 9. On damage and damage blocked. Beautiful. Get yourself a tortoise. Tier 8. The top damage games Carnarvon Action X, Carnarvon, Carnarvon Action X, Charioteer, uh, Centurion 5 1. Carnarvon Action X, Carnarvon, 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 Carnarvons, across the board. And that just goes to show, dominating the top results for damage blocked and dominating all the results for damage done, the Carnarvon, tier for tier, is like a kick-ass British tank. That is beautiful. I think I've learned something here. Okay, let's, we're going to watch two games. The top damage game by the Super Conquer, forget the uh, reward tank, and then the shit barn. We've got time to watch those two games. We're going to watch the top two damage games done uh, with regular tanks that any schmo can grind. I know that the top results were damaged, uh, uh, dominated by the uh, chieftains, but I don't, you know, who gives a flying fuck? And we don't want to watch uh, uh, just a bunch of uh, uh, overpowered reward tank uh, games. The same with the Russian analysis, right? The top uh, damage results were uh, pretty much all Object 279E. And this is uh, typical. The, the best players that uh, are clan players uh, get the best tanks. And that's just the way the game works. But we're going to watch the top two damage games that uh, anybody can get these tanks. Denda350 from the Pearl Clan is playing his Super Conquer. This is, and this is legitimately the top damage game done. This patch by a British tank. We're going to just watch this beast in action. And, and it's this thing has an amazing gun uh, you've seen replays of the super conquer right when the super conquer gets in the right position the super conquer is incredible now you guys tell me did he map his premium ammo to number one to fool me as many people do in replays look i've only got regular ammo loaded i, I don't have any number two uh, did he we'll find out at the end when he uh, i can't remember if the super conquer what the what the regular ammo is he's gonna lose a shit ton of credits isn't he <laughs> he's found himself a spot here where he's basically hauled down and a situation where the enemies are just sitting in front of him <laughs> oh boy. It's, uh, it's always the same with these amazing games right it's always just a collection of muppets that just drive in the open in front of uh, a really good tank but but guys for every time this has happened uh, with a, a Super Conqueror sitting there, that might have happened, uh, say, with a Setter 
you know, a, a setter might have gone to that spot and saw a whole bunch of uh, Muppets sitting in front of him. And a setter <laughs> would have done zero damage, okay? If you're going to... If you're going to sit in front of a gun, do not sit in front of a, a Super Conqueror gun. Do not sit in front of a Tortoise gun. Do not sit in front of a Badger gun. It, it, you cannot explain the result just by saying, oh, it's just Muppets on the enemy team. Because those same Muppets could do that. The same Muppets could sit in front of a Maubreka. And the Maubreka is not going to be at 2400 damage right now. You know what I'm saying? The same Muppets could sit in front of uh, a, a different tank that can't get hull down, that can't pump out the uh, the damages, but, and it's, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say, and this guy's got, it's just premium ammo that he's spamming. He doesn't even load the uh, regular, it's the same. Get yourself one of the best tanks, press two, and go have some fun at everyone's expense. You've got armor, your armor does not work. <laughs> He's not even gonna, just keep him track. Look at that snap. Just you know, but he's pointing his turret at the other enemy so he doesn't get uh, hit. Just, you know. Did you not bring a repair kit, or have you already used it? Oh, he's ammo racked and repaired immediately. I don't know how he did that so fast. Let's take him out. How did he do that? He was ammo racked and repaired like in a nanosecond, and now he can just go right through the turrets here. We're just watching this guy just roll through. Just ignore them. Just go, yeah, just, there you go. Let's take that. Just like, a, it, it, it's, it's almost like watching Pele uh, having a soccer match versus the uh, grade five gym class, right? Pele's bouncing the ball off his head and dribbling on his feet and doing the, uh, uh, the scissor kick uh, bicycle, woohoo, over the head, right? And the, the five-year-olds are looking at the oh look there's a four leaf clover you know it's, it, it's just it's a shit show is what i'm saying and look at this right through there no but we've damaged them dendra 350. <laughs> dominate he's already done six thousand damage and this and the score is only five seven you know how much damage he's gonna do you want one of these don't you everyone wants a super conqueror and the super conqueror i you know what, guys? I can't make it work uh, because I don't think I'm a good enough player to be patient enough to to get to the right positions because it is slow. To me, it's slow. I can't. I don't know. I'm. I'm always. I always feel like I'm two steps behind. But watching this replay, uh, I'm looking at it, going, "Well, shit, this looks easy." Right? He's just. He's just driving around shooting everyone, but. You got to remember that this is just a situation where you know, he's gone to a position in the map, two so far, that have been, uh, let's just call it target-rich environments, mainly of Muppets that are just ignoring him. <laughs> well, but what, to be fair, what could that guy do? He had a T-95 in front of him. And it's still only 9-8. Surprisingly, after 8,000 damage, his team has still not managed uh, to win this game so those are the ingredients I guess you have to have Muppet enemies that just sit in front of you and you have to have the rest of your teammates that really don't do anything I guess that's what you need and I've said this so many times if he's done 8,000 damage and basically fought everyone what have the rest of his teammates done nothing <laughs> And now he's gonna start farming this guy. Beautiful, okay, he, this guy is a great player. This guy knows what he's doing. He knows where to, he, see me stupidly, I, I might have like gone north with my uh, a super car. Oh, I think I'll go north, right? I'd be trundling along trying to get up the hill on the north and wasting five minutes. It's a different mindset playing the, the slower heavy tanks. You have to know where to go, where you were more likely to encounter lots of enemies. And how is this guy still invisible? How, how is that guy invisible? How does this spotting mechanic work here? How close does he have to get to spot this guy? I guess he there's a little alcove there. Oh boy. he's Well, you're going to take a hit. Track him in place. He's got to do this carefully. Track him in place. He does not have turret. 
Oh, there is a little alcove there. This sneaky little bugger, eh? This sneaky bugger got into the... It's just Muppets. You can't win just by hiding. <laughs> I'm gonna hide here, Daddy! I'm scared. I'm just gonna hide. If I hide, we can win. You, you can't win just by hiding. You have to actually shoot your gun. <laughs> His teammate shot him. He's got him. Well played, buddy. Well played. He took him out without taking any damage. See, this guy knows how to uh, play a super conquer. This guy is giving us uh, uh, just a, a, a how to. This is a how to play the super conquer. Because I would have pulled out, oh, I'll angle my front like a Muppet, right? And, oh, my, I got really good armor. I'll angle it. And that guy would have just pressed to and, and shot through my front hull for 790. So, with these heavy tanks, it's a lot of it is about knowing where to go to be uh, uh, have a likely chance of encountering a, a target-rich environment. And also, what you do while you're not shooting. Did you notice this guy, when he was perma-track that, uh, that Japanese super heavy, he would shoot the track wheel and then turn his turret to face the other enemies? Oh, he's been ammo racked now. Oh, it's a, it's an auto, it's one of those auto reloader. It's a standard B, who only shot you twice. Why did he only shoot twice? Um, nobody knows why. <laughs> what I was gonna say is, did you notice how he did that? Uh, he would shoot the track wheel and then turn his turret to to bounce the shots from the other guys, and then just as he was uh, loaded again, shoot the track wheel again. If uh, a not so good player would have been just blinders on aimed at that track wheel and then the enemies would be shooting the side of his turret and penning him so this guy knows uh, what to do and and it's a lesson for heavy tank drivers it's what do you do while you're reloading is almost just as important as who you're shooting as so that you can bounce shots so that you can, so that your armor works and that's especially true uh, for instance for the uh, uh, the German super heavies you have to Think about how you're angled while you're reloading. And uh, obviously in the Super Conquer, when you have multiple targets, you got to think of where you're pointing your turret while you're reloading. And now he's facing... Oh, uh, this guy's turned around. That, that's perfect. Uh, shout out to this SDRV who came to reset and didn't just give up. But now you're tracked. The tank with no turret is... It's, it's, it's really difficult to handle them, you see. Shoot the track, track them, and then just kill them. Calmly, don't panic, don't face hug him. And this poor STRV is going to take one last one up the ass. <laughs> Tracked! <laughs> I guess he didn't have a repair kit. <laughs> I don't know. Or he gave up? I guess I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so what's it? Come on, there's still one enemy. It's a leopard. The leopard's got five kills. It's it's the game's not over yet. Are these guys? Eh, they got a lot of HP. I don't think the leopard can do it. The leopard. The only way the leopard can win now is if he farms these guys, and remains undetected. And I don't think there's a lot of positions on this map where he could do that. There, let's see. Let's see. I don't know if he won this game or not. I just know that he got the top damage. I'm watching these games live with you guys, and, I, and this video we're going to watch uh, the shit barn game as well. We're going to do it all in one video, because uh, as you'll see in the next game, uh, it does not take long to do a lot of damage in a shit barn. And he, let's, while we wait to see if he uh, wins this game, which I think he will, the leopard's going to show up, he's going to get a little bit more damage, I think. Uh, the results for the whole British line are... Uh, pretty much as expected, except for a few things I learned. Uh, light tank wise, as expected. Uh, I mean, if you want to do the spotting missions, the higher tier light tank you have, the more chance you have of getting more spotting assist. The Manticore got the highest. So there's the Leopard. Okay, the Leopard's going to get taken out now. Oh, wait a minute. He's out of ammo. He doesn't have any more ammo. I didn't even notice that. And he actually moved up there and blocked a shot for his teammate. Well done, my friend. Well done. He took a hit there to protect his teammate. Well done.
Look at that. Amazing game. Beautiful, beautiful, my friend. You lost a shit ton of credits. Because <laughs> you spammed. You even mapped your premium ammo to number one. <laughs> okay, let's watch Sir Pulet. Polensen. Polensiu. Sir Polensiu. In the shit barn. It's only going to take him about six minutes to do almost as much damage. Because he's got a big motherfucking gun. But anyways, getting back to the results. Okay, so the higher tier light tank you have, the more damage assist you can do if you're working on those damage assist missions. Uh, with one interesting thing that was not the case in any of the other tech trees we've looked at, the tier 8 premium light tank for Russia dominates the tier 8 results. Uh, the tier 8 premium tanks for Germany uh, kind of dominated. You know, the girlfriend tank dominated the tier 8 light tank results. Um, for America, it was the T92 dominated the tier 8 light tank results. It's always the premium tank. The tier 8 premium light tank that dominated the tier 8 results in all the other tech trees. Any nation that has a tier 8 premium light tank. Uh, but for the British... <laughs> If you're stupid enough that you went and bought a setter, which again was released to much fanfare from all the British content providers of how great the setter is, the setter's shit didn't even have one of uh, uh, in the top 10 results. Don't buy a setter. We learned that. The second thing we learned is that the heavily armored TDs, oh look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. The heavily armored British assault tank destroyers. The pinnacle of the line is the tortoise. And I think I think most of you knew that. The tortoise, tier for tier, is better than the badger. Uh, the badger is just disappointing. It's too slow. And the armor doesn't hold up. Everyone presses two and they pen you from the front. It's very frustrating. We learned that. Um, I think everyone knew that. Now, the one thing I learned, and I'm going to actually... Because I have not played the Carnarvon. Or the Carnarvon Action X, really. And I was, uh, to my surprise... And, um, many of you may have known this, but I didn't. That the Carnarvon and the Carnarvon Action X has dominated the results. Both on damage blocked by armor and damage done. And take that, say hello... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> if you have a tank that dominates both damage blocked by armor and damage done, oh, you're going to take a big hit here. You're going to take a big hit. Ooh. Well, he's going to be dead here. What's going on? You're dead. He's only done six. Well, how the hell do you get out of this one? Did, yeah. Oh, it didn't pen. 230 hash pen. Oh my god, what's going on? I, I have not seen this replay yet, guys. He's dead. How does he end up doing that much damage? He's dead now, isn't he? Is it possible that this object, 705, is not going to take out... Not going to take him out? Crit of course, he can't pen the object. So his hash is not... What is going on? I'd rather shoot the lightly armed... Okay, you know what's going on here? See this object, 705? He does not want to shoot him because he's a Muppet. I don't understand. You know what it is? The object 705 is a WN8 stat pattern that did not want to waste a shot to kill this guy. He's only like 5 HP left. He would rather take a shot at someone else and do more damage because he's more worried about how much damage he does than his WN8 than winning the game. <laughs> Watch. Say hello to my little friend. Anyways, let's get back to what I was saying. The Carnarvon and Carnarvon Action X dominate both damage blocked and damage done. To me, uh, that's, a, a, that's a very strong indication that it's like tier for tier. Highlight of the... Of, of the British line, a heavy line, I guess, is um, Carnarvon. Mr. Guys, Carnarvon. It's gotta be the Carnarvon. I gotta play Carnarvon. <laughs> Support my position. Support my position. <laughs> yeah, I will be back. 
Now that object 705 let this guy live. If you come with me if you want to live. <laughs> and now he's going to win the game. <laughs> Anyways, I was surprised to see the Carnarvon uh, dominate two categories like that. So, uh, uh, my no bullshit opinion is Carnarvon, get yourself one. You gotta try it. Oh boy, how much damage is he gonna do? To, okay, let's see. How much is he? Because this guy's gonna pull forward, isn't he? How much damage? Okay, 1,700 and. Come on, let's get. Put your guesses in. How much? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> 1,794. <laughs> okay, calm down. The music's playing. It's time to relax. The series is over, guys. We had too much fun. You, you have it too much fun. You make it too much money. Uh, <laughs> One of my good friends is uh, Asian. And every time I see him, he says, Oh, Klaus, how you doing? <laughs> you making too much money. <laughs> hey, yeah, take him out. Come on. Beautiful. RNG says yes. I hope you enjoyed the series, guys. <laughs> I hope you had fun. I hope everything's going well for you. Like it is for me. Look at this guy. I lost a fortune. That's the other thing we've learned is that every single top game, except for one, that we witnessed was a credit loss because let's face it only five percent of the shots fired in this game are premium shells but don't turn it don't uh, stop watching it we're gonna finally figure out you know the outro that i faded out every time we're gonna watch it to its entirety today you'll finally see what happened Guy here. <laughs> These two guys are on the same team. <laughs> this uh, T54 lightweight is really upset with his teammate. <laughs> Whee! Enjoy your day, guys. I hope you uh, have a good one. <laughs>